I've had a couple failure to feeds. You can see right there, it wants to make its way into the chamber, but didn't quite do that. And typically it has happened with the last round. I like the handgun, but I don't 100% trust it at this time. I need to put some more rounds through it to make sure that it functions properly. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have the Taurus TH10 chambered in 10 millimeter. I've got about eight rounds loaded up. Let's see how it does. All right. I never thought Taurus would come out with a 10 millimeter. I've, I've heard people here say, if Taurus would just come out with a 10 millimeter, it would do very well. Well, they did. They came out with the TH10 a couple months back. And initially I had some issues. I still do every now and again, and it has to do with chambering. I cleaned the gun up right there. It fed through eight rounds. And I'm hoping that that's nothing more than a break-in period because the first time I had it out, I really didn't do well at all. And it was hitting a little high. So I aimed a little above just shy of 12 o'clock and had a little better success right there but about the pistol here we have two 15 round magazines the msrp on this is 531 it's a polymer frame double action single action handgun and it is all ambidextrous you can see it has a slide stop on the right and left side as well as a thumb safety the thumb safety also serves as a decocker right there four and a quarter inch barrel it has the texturing that is very common with the taurus handguns and the, and the single action trigger pull is not bad i'd say right around four and a half five pounds with a reset that is fairly short the 10 millimeter is a bit jumpy in this, being that it's a polymer frame handgun. It does have a pinned in front dot and serrated black rear sights. Ramp up a bit. Overall, not bad. Two slot pick rail. I like the handgun, but I don't 100% trust it at this time. I need to put some more rounds through it to make sure that it functions properly. A couple times I had some failure to feeds and it was partially in the chamber but the slide stuck back like that and all I had to do was give it a little help to go ahead and seat it entirely in the chamber. It has some great features, it's priced right but the reliability just isn't there for me at this time. Let me load it up again see if I can get through a full mag of 15 and see how it does. One thing I will mention is that it has an ambidextrous magazine release as well. And the, the left side is very stiff. The right side, well, that's stiff too. <laughs> so uh, it is left-handed friendly, which is good. All right, I have 15 rounds loaded up. Let's see how the TH-10 does. Not bad. Now I'm starting to think it needed a break in because that ran through 15 pretty, pretty well. I'm still aiming a little high on the target, but not too much. I'm not right at 12 o'clock, a couple inches lower than 12 o'clock. Uh, not a center hold at this time, but I'm pretty happy it ran through all of those. Let me go ahead and try it i'll turn the camera around you can check out the recoil the disassemble very easy it has those tabs right there you just work those and there you have a dual recoil spring four and a quarter inch barrel and there's a look at the polymer frame i like it that it is ambidextrous i think that will 
Make some lefties happy. The heck. There we go. That was sticking on me. But it, it's good for left-handed shooters. Uh, definitely needs a break-in period. That part, I will tell you. But that ran through 15, and I'm pretty pleased. I think it's the first time that's happened. The gun is performing better as I go, and I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm inconsistent with the impact. I think that'll take some practice but it is running well so if you happen to get a Taurus TH10 at least through my experience keep it very clean allow for a break-in period at least a hundred rounds and then if it's anything like mine it will perform much better and you'll feel better about it as I do right now leading up to it <laughs> I have to admit I was very suspect with the feeding, but as you saw, the last couple mag and partial mags, it worked better, and we'll have to see. I will give an update on this as I put more rounds through it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.